Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. And in this video, we're gonna discuss some breaking news just announced two hours ago on the Microsoft blog, some changes to the Azure data and AI related exams. Specifically, they are announcing changes to the AI 100 exam and as well the DP200 and DP201 exams. In this video, we're gonna focus on the DP200 and 201 changes as it relates to my DP200 course. Now the big breaking news here is that they are going to be merging the DP200 and DP201 topics into a single exam called DP203. The DP203 exam enters beta on February 23rd. Not to worry though, if you are taking the DP201 exam and DP200, you have until June 30th to complete that. So we're looking at five full months, pretty much five and a half months to get this work done, which should be plenty. So this to me makes sense because if you look at the DP200 and DP201 syllabus is, they have a lot of overlap. And so when you look at things like Cosmos DB, data lake storage, Synapse Analytics, all those same topics also appear on the uh, 200 exam. So the 200 exam covers generally implementation and the 201 exam covers design. So I've always said to students, you should be studying for, basically studying for both at the same time, take one or the other exam and very quickly turn your studies to the other exam and get through that as quickly as possible to take the second test. Currently, you do need to take both the 200 and 201 exams in order to qualify for the Microsoft Certified Azure Data Engineer Associate Certification. All right. So this does make sense because they, they do cover pretty much the same topics from different angles. There are exams like the AZ-303 and AZ-304, which cover different topics and they don't have a lot of overlap. There's some overlap, but, but very little overlap. Well, these two exams I've always thought had a lot of overlap. So it does make sense that the DP203 exam is now a single exam. And so I'll say, uh, I agree, I agree with this, kudos. But the reality is, of course, there's a lot of topics to cover. And so the new exam is going to basically be an amalgamation of 200 and 201. If you look at the requirements for DP200, it's basically two and a half pages of a syllabus, two and a quarter pages of syllabus. If you go to the DP203 exam, it is literally five full pages of requirements all the way to the bottom of page five. So Microsoft is basically merged these two exams together into a single exam and um, not taken away too many topics. So expect this to be a harder exam. Okay. So to recap, um, the beta is February 23rd. We don't know when it goes live, but uh, you do have until the end of June to take the 200 and 201 exams. Now my recommendation, if you've already taken and passed either the DP200 or DP201, my recommendation is to go and take the other exam, right? So this is my, in line with my idea that they are, are complements of each other and they should be taken fairly close together. So if you've taken 200, uh, go and take 201 as quickly as you can and just get it done with because the renewal process is now online and through the Microsoft Learn website, it costs nothing. So um, once you complete it, you do not have to ever take the DP203 exam uh, again. But if you have not yet started, if let's say today's the first day you're thinking about DP200, I might be tempted to say take the only one exam. It's harder. It's clearly going to be harder to study but uh, you're going to get it over with in a single exam. So it'll cost less, especially when it's in beta. And you take the test, you pass the test, you move on with your life. You don't have a second test to then take in a short period. Now, if you're in between, if you've um, taken 
you, if you've taken one but not the other, you should finish it. But if you've not yet taken the first one but you've started studying, that's going to be up to you. Okay. Remember, the topics are pretty much the same. So you can study for DP200 and then make that decision to take which test you're going to take. But, um, you know, we're still a month away from the beta and then the who knows, long, who knows how long the beta is going to last for, maybe another month. So we're a couple of months away from this being a live exam. So, yeah. Anyways, that's a very interesting thing. I think it's a good idea for them to merge it. I think it's going to be the new test is going to be twice as difficult as the old test, but um, probably a good idea. Anyways, this has been Scott. Thanks for tuning in. Um, again, if you're already studying, if you're close to taking the test, just do it. Get it over with. Get on with your life. Don't drag this out for, for more, you know, a couple more months. But if you haven't yet started, um, maybe keep an eye on this. You can start studying, start learning, and then you can decide which one you're going to take. Uh, when the time comes. All the best. Thanks.